Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm sharing with you guys some thrift makeovers. It has been so long since I have done one of these on my channel, so let's get into it. I'm excited to show you. All right, so this first one is this 50 cent bath towel hanger. This was from a yard sale over the summer and I started cleaning out my craft room. I've said this in the last video that I am cleaning out my craft room to do a whole craft room organized and decluttering makeover video. I just opened up my closet and I kind of started going through things and I had so much stuff from yard sales and Goodwill and thrift stores. When I say thrift stores, I really just mean Goodwill, but I don't know. I feel like sometimes when I say thrift stores, it sounds better than just Goodwill, but we don't have a ton of options around here. So Goodwill it is or yard sales, but yard sales, you can find the best deals, 50 cents for this. And it's actually made pretty nice. I'm going to be painting it this vintage duck egg by Dixie Belle. I really love this color. It is so pretty and I only had to do one coat of this and it looked so great. I am like obsessed with this color. You're going to see this a couple more times in this video because I like it that much. And you did see in the beginning, I did take the knobs off. They were like those crystally knobs, not my type, not my flavor, not my style, none of it. Uh, so I did take those off and uh, you're going to see in a little while I'm going to be doing something different. But I love using Chalk Couture. You guys are going to see Chalk Couture a few times in this video. I know some people don't like it, but honestly, like it can be expensive. Yes, it can also be inexpensive if you use your items multiple times. Um, I think I only use like two different sets of these uh, mesh stencils. These are reusable. You can reuse them up to like 15 times, maybe even more, just depending on how well you take care of them. But this one says pantry. I'm using kind of like some retired uh, type stencils or transfers from Talk Uh But I love this pantry one. I have like a, uh, what do I want to call it? I have like a sign in my kitchen that says that. So yeah, I'm using it again. These are the knobs that I'm going to be using, but I'm going to be spray painting them with this uh, Rust-Oleum spray paint. I will give you the name in the description box. I think it's Amber Copper, Copper. Anyways, it's great. And these look so much better than what they did before and what the crystal knobs look like. And I'm just screwing these back on. These kind of went on pretty nicely, but then I did end up having to take a screwdriver. But I love this sign so much. No, I didn't paint the back sides. It happens over here. Um, but if I do decide to sell this, which I probably will eventually, um, I probably will paint the back side just because it is a little bit nicer that way. Uh, but yeah, that's all I had to do here. And then I hung it and I love this. One, two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm so. Next one, I picked up these shutters. They were $6 for the pair and I'm only going to be using one of these. So really these were $3 each, which is still really, really inexpensive. I'm just going to be using this eat sign. I want to say this was on something I picked up at a yard sale a long time ago, ripped it off and just saved it. Uh, I actually know that's exactly what it was. And I think it was only like 50 cents, super, super cheap and inexpensive. And I'm just going in with my Waverly chalk paint and ink and I am painting the eat sign. And then I'm just going to be taking some hot glue and gluing this eat sign right to the shutter. I like the color of the shutter and I like the black uh, that goes with like the wood color. So that is all I did. This is seriously super, super easy. Drive a faster car. Lay my 
This little guy I have had for, I want to say, going on two years. It is just this rolling pin and it is a pig holder. And you can either hang this up or you can set it on a stand or on a shelf or on your countertop. Uh, I think that is great. I'm going with that vintage duck egg color once again by Dixie Belle. Love this color. And then I'm just going to go in with the Waverly chalk paint and ink to paint the handles of the rolling pin. Using this transfer from Chocotour, and I wanted the one that says, what does it say? I'm not really sure. Main Street Market is what it's going to say. Uh, and then I just put it on the rolling pin, used my chalk paste in bright white. And I had a lot of people, they wanted a fun Chocotour tutorial. This may be as good as it gets. I know some people get so annoyed that I use Chocotour. I love it personally. And I think that you will too once you try it out. Like I said, yeah, it's a little expensive. I totally get that. But I seen at Michael's that they have transfers like this. I have not used them yet. I want to go buy them and check them out. I actually want to do like a whole Michael's video of some sort or just different stores. Like let me know in the comments below. I'll pick up like all of my supplies from one store, do a whole video. I think it'll be fun and it definitely will change it up from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I also got a lot of backlash on one of my last videos about me not shopping at the Dollar Tree, thinking the dollar twenty-five is a little expensive. To be honest, you guys, I thought a dollar was kind of expensive on a lot of the cheap items that you get there, uh, because Walmart has a lot of very similar items uh, for ninety-eight cents. So definitely check out Walmart's site too. But anyways, Main Street Market vintage duck egg. I love this. I just set it up. I think this is adorable. I did nothing with the pig stand because I thought it was super cute as is. Next one was like a toolbox. It was 309 from Goodwill. And it just needed like a nice little cleaning, a tad bit of sanding because it did have like some marker or crayon or something on the edges. So there was like a lot of little blue spots that obviously I did not want. So I just used my sander. This is a Boshy Bose. I, I, Bosch. I've never said it right. Uh, but if you guys want a link, I will link it. I love it because it has like six different settings. Uh, so you can do like uh, low, medium, or high. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's exactly what it is. It's I always use six because I like whatever is the most fastest. Uh, although maybe it's that's not how you know you guys do it, but whatever is most fast for me, whatever's the fastest, whatever works, that's how I do it. I'm just using some Roanoke stain. This is by Rustoleum. I picked it up at Walmart. It's like five or six dollars or something, but a little bit goes a long way. And I've done quite a few projects with this. No, I do not have gloves on. Uh, I need to get some. But if you don't have gloves and you get stain all over your hands like I did, you just need to grab some oil, like vegetable oil, coconut oil, rub it around your hands for a little bit, wash it like you're using soap, and this stain comes off just like that, super fast, and it's not a big deal. So the stain on my hands does not bother me as much as it probably bothers some of you. Then I'm just going in with a paintbrush on some of the spots that I could not get. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, uh, some people think that I can come off as rude. Uh, I really try not to be. Uh, I just have a really like really bland, sarcastic sense of humor. So I guess if you don't know me, you'd be like, oh my gosh, she's so rude. I promise you guys I'm really not being rude. Uh, it's just like my my weird sense of humor. That's all it is. All right, so that took too long. Now I'm going in the next day. I think this was the next day with 
one of the same transfers from Chocotour. This says Farm Fresh. And then this really doesn't have to be in a kitchen. This was kind of like a kitchen thrift makeover type Chocotour ish video. I don't really know what it was, to be honest. Like, I was seriously digging things out of my closet to redo because, like I said, I'm really trying to declutter. And if we already bought the items, let's just use it, you guys, because I know that I have so much stuff that I just like. I hoard and I buy more of because I don't know I have it. And then like it goes on and on and on. But look, look how this pulls off so nicely. This is my favorite part. I swear. Like this is, that's my favorite part of using Chaco Tour. So now we're going to go in with some greenery and some lavender. Spring is coming up. So I thought, you know, why not like throw some spring stuff in? I've already had all this stuff too. Uh, the lavender in the boxwood is from Walmart. And then that like weird looking green pine coney stuff. I don't know what that is. That was actually from Dollar General last year. And I love Dollar General. Like you really have to like look around sometimes and they have like the greatest home decor ever. Um, also I might sound really nasty because my voice has not been the same since I've been sick like two months ago. It's just not coming back at all. Like it just goes in and out. It goes away. I think I sound like a man. Uh, <laughs> Maybe not, maybe not that far, but kind of. Yeah. So anyways, this is what it looks like when it's all done. I hope you guys have been enjoying my little rants and my talks. I really, truly do enjoy those. This last one was actually a really nice piece. Uh, if you are a grandma that likes pieces like that, I sanded the top down, painting it way, really chalk paint and white. I did end up painting this sides as well. I think this was only a dollar, two dollars. I ran into like this, like out of this shop that was going out of business slash yard sale, thrift sale. I don't know what it was exactly, but they had a lot of like brand new stuff. Um, yeah, so they were like selling their items for really, really cheap. Going in with another Chalk Couture stencil. This says Kitchen Rules. This was from their Club Couture. Um, if you guys ever want to check Chalk Couture out and you want to just test out the waters, uh, Club Couture is 20 bucks a month and you can cancel anytime, but they will send you a transfer along with the chalk paste so you can make your own transfers, uh, or your D make your own decals, make your own signs. Uh, anyways, that's probably like the, one of the cheapest routes to go. They also have like try me kits sometimes, which I love those too, because, uh, you're not like stuck using chalk tour. If you, you can, it's like a one-time buy type thing. So I know some people are like, well, you have to do it monthly. You have to do this. It's really expensive. There is ways you can make it really inexpensive, but I make it the expensive way because I'm overly obsessed with it. Uh, I'm using the colors eucalyptus and I'm also using, uh, the velvet, which is black of course. And then I'm going to peel this off and I did have a little bit of bleed through, uh, on some of them. And I did just touch that up and fix it later on, but I love this sign, but I did just want to rough up the edges because it was just a little tiny, it was a little bit plain, but I love how this looks in the end. I think it just looks super high end. I think it looks nice. It is something that I would keep in my home. You guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, consider sticking around and subscribing. And if you guys like thrift makeovers, let me know in the comments below uh, so I will do more. But you guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. drive a faster car i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna 